So, I think this is the rock that I'm focused on. I guess we'll find out at some point. Hello, as you can see, I'm not in London at the moment. I am currently in the Peak District for a scouting event. I'm here taking photos for the scouts, currently on a little climbing event with Georgie, and I thought I'd come make a video because it's quite a nice area. So I have a little plan for this channel, and as much as I want to make more videos, uh, a lot more frequently, back to weekly, hopefully eventually. That's not possible at the moment because the houses are taking up 99% of my time. What I would like to do is a monthly series. Now, I'm completely stealing this off Willem Verbeck, uh, where he does like photography that I made this month, I think he's called it, which is where he just goes over all the photos that he's taken that month, like what ones he likes, what ones he doesn't like, all the shoots he's done. And because I'd like to do more photography each month, I think it'd be a really cool idea just to go over the photos I've taken a month. And that means I've got a monthly video I can make that's not too difficult, that doesn't take much planning. I can sit down for 20 minutes, record, and edit it fairly quickly. I'd like to release that on the first Monday of each month, get back to some sort of regular video making, and then whatever I can make in between, even better. But I thought this would be a good place to start making this, this video, since it's such a nice area. So first and foremost, I've been using the little Fuji X100F pretty much every day. Every day I'm making a new photo and I'm posting them more regularly on Instagram. So as I'm speaking, I'm gonna put a few of those photos up from the earlier, the, from the beginning of the month, which I'm quite proud of, ranging from like street photography. I've got some really cool ones of a woman walking down a street. I really like the aspect of this one and how it just sort of flows into the corner of the image. Again, this X100F is really changing the game when it comes to photography because it means I don't have to carry this giant camera around with me everywhere and actually just want to shoot and want to create photos, which is really good because I've not done that in so long. Up next, a very, very important photo shoot that I did. Um, so I borrowed from work the Hasselblad H4X, with, or HX4, I can never remember, with a 50mm Hasselblad lens, it's an f3.5, and the 16 to 32 film backs, which are, first of all, very hard to come by. Um, we recently fixed two of these film backs at work and they needed testing we need to run some film through them so I thought I'd ask and take them home take some photos um firstly I walked around just London and Enfield where we live to take some photos of just the general landscape just to run a roll of film through one of them uh, to see if it's working worked fine got some nice pictures nothing extraordinary I'll run a few of them on screen here but the main event are these photos that I'm about to put on screen very very important we decided to do a little photo shoot with Minnie, and they are some of the cutest photos that I've ever seen and ever taken. They are amazing. Just how good she was taking the photos. The one that stands out the most is this little close-up portrait. I don't know what it is, just the contrast in her eyes, just that little glimmer, and the ears, and I'm going to get this printed mainly for Georgie because we want a giant picture of Minnie above in our above a certain place in our kitchen eventually. And I might get this printed and framed really nicely. So we'll, I'll, I'll show you that if I get it done. If not, it'll show up somewhere. So about mid-month, I think it was Easter weekend, possibly. I can't remember. I decided to take the train down to Brighton randomly, just on the front, on like a Thursday, being like, yep, I'm going to Brighton. Went on the Saturday, book tickets, done. Yeah, I just walked around taking photos, which I've not done in so long. Just an actual day, just planned just to do photography. And I haven't been to Brighton in many, many, many years, so it's quite nice to go back there and drink a beer on the beach, eat some chips. And yeah, just do some street photography. One that really, really stood out to me was a picture of this guy on a deck chair on the pier, on the pier, and I don't know, I was walking past him, I could see him just on his own, on his phone, leg kicked up, and I thought I have to take that photo, and I immediately chose a black and white film emulation, and I'm so glad I did, because the contrast, the shadows, just the fact he's just so unaware that I'm there taking a photo of him, just emanates street photography, which I really want to get better at, and this was such a confidence boost, getting this amazing photo without anyone noticing. Yeah, this photo, definitely stood out on the day. I've got some other good ones, like this contrasty sort of abstract stairwell. Again, very famous stairwell if you're part of the parkour community. I'm not anymore, many, many years ago. But if you know, you know. Then after Brighton, Georgie and I went to Cornwall with my family for a few days. Um, so again, mostly using the X100F, just snapping a few photos here and there. 
nothing amazing stood out again but it's just nice to be able to take some photos mostly for memories photos of mini um, my brother pulling stupid faces but on one of the days i did go out with all my gear which i'm glad i did because i got two photos that i'm extremely happy with so we went to set nexon's glen which is a nice sort of river waterfall walk up in sort of north cornwall towards tintagel i wanted to get some long exposure photos with a little bit of depth compression background compression whatever you want to call it and i got two photos the first is a picture of like a stream up a waterfall which is i love this photo i'm very tempted to get a printed small and have it on my wall in the office when i eventually get my desk built and it is absolutely gorgeous just how perfect the river is flowing i've there's a perfect frame of a tree over the over the river i got it sort of quite moody in the edit i went very very moody but i popped the greens out a lot more because i wanted I, i'm really enjoying green tones at the moment really 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 wanted to just show just how vivid and vibrant that like area of cornwall is it just rained as well so everything was really just oh it was good that's the first photo the second photo i took inspiration in the edit from a photographer called peter lick but i wanted to do a really deep photo he must shoot in like f16 or f22 all the time for long exposures because i wanted to get pretty much everything in focus and i just got my camera really low in the river pointed upstream at this log covered in moss shot the photo i think it was about six seconds five seconds or so and in the edit i popped those greens i bought those out i turned every yellow to green pretty much and I just love how this looks. And I think this is the photo that I'm going to print really big. Because there's a big space above my stairs that I want to put a really big frame of something. Just really vibrant and vivid photo that I've taken. And I think that might be the one. So when I print it, eventually, I will I will show that off. Maybe if I do a house tour when the, when the flat's done. We'll see about that. This photo right here, just that is my photo of the month, I think. It took me about 20 minutes to capture took me a few hours to edit and I really just tried to put the effort into that that photo and I'm really happy I did and now towards the end of the month I'm in the Peak District and I've got a few photos that I'm quite proud of so far I'm unsure whether I'm going to put them in this video or the next one because I haven't got them on me to look at them so maybe they'll be in the start of next month's video because I will be doing this every month I'm going to make sure of that I hope you liked those photos I'm quite proud of them actually I really 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 enjoy it. I'm starting to enjoy photography again which is making me so happy and it's it's definitely down to the x100f that camera is just changed the game completely but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video remember to like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i shall see you in the next video hopefully in the next couple of weeks if not at the end of the month peace i would hit see i, I need to hit the camera now see you in the next video